I sure am a mess maker. <laughs> I could take a simple job and multiply it into thousands of pieces. It's incredible. I did get a little aromatic thing for this RV because it still has an odor to it. Today is Wednesday, June 5th, 2019. We got a substantial amount of rain this morning. But uh, it's supposed to uh, sub subside. <laughs> Can't seem to talk today. It's supposed to subside until like 5 p.m. It's about 2 p.m. now. And I want to get some work done. It's like 80 something outside instead of 90 something. So I came into the Silver Streak. It says it's 85 in here, and I have the rear AC going, so what am I going to do? I am going to work on putting a shelf right here. That'll be a perfect spot. I've got the upper shelf already in because I worked on that stove the other day. The stove is in, fortunately. Still needs to be cleaned. I bought cleaner yesterday, but I'm not running water to the site today. So I'll put the shelf in and get this part finished. That'll be a perfect spot for bakeware. Look at that. Perfect. So cookie sheets and stuff like that. And then the bottom part can, will be a nice spot for my larger items like my uh, food dehydrator and such. So, let's get to work. There is one issue for when I hook the stove up. The propane line isn't quite long enough because I put the shelf in its path. So, I will pull the stove back out and uh, remedy that problem with my little jigsaw. I'll just cut a notch in the board underneath. Okay, the stove is out. Down here is where I will be notching out my area for this propane line. And, um, you know, <laughs> once you start a project, sometimes other things just, you ignore them and after a while you forget that they even exist. Like this. So while the stove was out, I need to clean that up. That's really kind of gross. So we'll get that done. I improvised. I did not have a little handsaw to cut in that tiny corner with, so I took my drill and drilled a couple of holes so that I could get my jigsaw blade into that, and then I cut it out, and of course coming this way, I ran into this, so I just reached down and grabbed the piece of wood and it broke off. So I let's hope that that's um, big enough. I'll find out in a minute. I'm going to clean. I am going to clean this before I continue. Well, that turned out fairly good. As good as I'm going to get it, that um, some of that I think is kind of scraped into there. And um, that's okay. I mean, that's, that's really been nitpicky there. And I got it off of this side pretty much, so... I was uh, using Simple Green and that wasn't getting it for me, but there was an old, old bottle of Grease Lightning left in here. So I used that and lots and lots of scrubbing with one of these things and I got it. So okay, now I'm going to move on to building the shelf. I think I'll build the shelf before I put the oven back in. So just because the light is better that way. I am working on my second shelf. Down here I've got my notch cut out for my propane pipe. And then in here, what I've decided to do is just um, block up a piece of wood on here so that works. And then just lined this corner bracket up with that. So now what I have to do is that it's already 
measured and taped so I just have to put my support beam on this wall and then I can put this shelf in. As you can see I kind of jammed my second shelf in there uh, just so I can put the support beam because I won't be able to get that shelf in otherwise. I just put two clips on this end just to keep it from dropping. So now I will install my support beam. My shelves are in. That's going to be a great spot to put cookware, um, cooking sheet, baking, bakeware, baking sheets and stuff like that. Be a great spot. And I still have all that space under there. That will be a nice spot. And now I am going to show you how to install an RV oven. It's really pretty simple. If you can pick up the oven, you can do it. It's easy. Okay, so first of all, you've got to be able to pick up the oven off the floor. That kind of goes without saying, right? Never pick it up by the handle. You can break the oven door. You can break the handle. Picking it up from the bottom and from the back. Okay. They are a bit heavy. Ah! Dang it. Okay, and this top part abs actually just, ouch, put your hand out of the way, slides right over the countertop because RVs are built that way. Okay, bring the propane hose through. And I'm just gonna get this thing pushed. Oh my gosh, sorry about that. Okay, I'm gonna readjust the camera. Okay, camera set up. We're gonna finish pushing this in. Needed to get my screwdriver. Finish pushing this in. It all rests on top of the countertop here, which makes installation pretty easy. And there are four screws. I'm pre reusing the screws. I didn't get new screws. Okay, I want to make sure that the propane actually. The propane line is long enough to bolt back down onto here, and it is. I'm not going to bolt down it yet. Bolt it down yet. So yeah, that's where it goes onto here. Set the camera back down. Readjust. So the screws. right here, there will already be four screw holes in here, which I've shown previously. So I just lined it back up. Screw it back in. And there you go. So I'll do the other three holes and we're done. That's how easy it is to put an RV oven in. Easy peasy. Same with taking it out. Make sure your propane's turned off. Make sure you have your lines bled out the way you bleed out your line. Once you turn off your propane, turn on the stove and just let their excess propane burn off. And then when you want to remove your stove, Unhook the propane, take the top off of course, unhook the propane line and then just unscrew the stove and pull it out. That's all there is to it. So Today's project of building the shelves for the stove and um, well for the cabinetry and installing the stove episode is concluded. Trial and error by Texan RC Life. <laughs>
Um, it, it's still pretty grungy. I've really, really got to clean this up. So I will put the top on later. And I will clean this stove up later. It's getting late in the day and I need to go take care of the dogs and uh, go just do my evening chores. So I will catch you all later. Thank you for watching and live the life you love. This is going to be really, really nice. Yeah. I improvised. <laughs> I didn't have a little handsaw. Of course, my, uh, what is this thing called? <laughs>